सर दिस इज द टाइम टू लुक एट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द जनरल फिजिकल सिचुएशन आई हैव लिसनड विथ सम अटेंशन टू द रिमार्क्स फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिशन एवरीबडी इज वर्ड I heard my friend speaking and the honorable members just now who spoke also and talked about the problems of the size of the deficit of no plan expenditure the question of continuing in efficiency of relatively less efficiency of public enterprises or the fear of the debt trap these are familiar battle cries on the side of the opposition at the same time if you heard the earlier debates the demand on behalf of the states for net added transfer of resources from the center to states is still growing the pressure is mounting there is a demand for additional subsidy and continuation of excise subsidies then on the one side we talk about efficiency in economic management on the other side we find different state governments and particularly some of the neighboring state governments indulging in populist approach towards repayment of loans from the banks or other sectors of the government now it is very difficult to reconcile the economic rationality of the demand and the economic rationality of the comments that the opposition members are trying to make let us look at the hard facts the question is whether the economy is growing in terms of growth rate of the gnp this can be checked in terms of figures available here the fact is that it is growing at a very fast pace in fact the expected rate of growth of real income in the current year is likely to be around 8% which is much higher than what we have seen in the recent years if you look at the sectoral composition of the performance thanks to the bountiful monsoon and a more imaginative agricultural strategy particularly the food production we are finding a better performance in the food production sector of course we depleted our buffer stock but as a result of the better crops and with some imports we are trying to replenish our buffer stocks industrial growth has been very encouraging although in the last few months there has been a tendency at deceleration and we hope by the year end the things will level up and our performance in the industrial sector will be well above the recent performance it should be crossing 10 to 11% mark altogether i heard my friend talking about the consumers price index there is no doubt that there is rise in the consumers price index and the consumer faces the real punch but the increase has not been as alarming as we think particularly if we look at the recent drought and the risk of likely increase in price which did not take place now so far as the consumers price index is concerned it is closely related to the liquidity in the economy it is true that the liquidity is growing because disposable income has been growing because of different kinds of payments that we have committed whether it is the fifth pay commission and the 
cascading effect of that in the rest of the economy or the other salary settlements dearness allowances and all that this leads to demand inflation but on supply side if our buffer stock position is right and releases are timely and adequate all the operations both on the supply side and on the demand side of the buffer stock are efficient that we should have no fears it seems to me the very fact that the price index have not been rising at a very rapid pace shows that the supply management so far as the essential commodities are concerned has been somewhat efficient and this has given us a relatively better balance with demand now so far as the wholesale price index is concerned it is very encouraging as a matter of fact there was a slight pressure but if you take the latest figures there has been a deceleration there what is particularly encouraging is that in the agricultural product group the rate of increase in the wholesale price index has been much less compared to the non agricultural commodity group however the fact remains that the resource position of the government is under strain when we talk of resource position we talk of three components number 1 what is the rate of domestic savings particularly the net figures have been under serious stress fortunately the household sector performance has been good but the performance at the corporate sector level and particularly the saving in the public sector of the corporate sector has been discouraging and much more discouraging has been the rate of the savings in the government sector so this is one area where substantial correction is required in order to generate adequate resource for investment the second component is related to revenue now if you take the total revenue picture the direct taxes constitute 14% and indirect taxes constitute 85% which are increasing every year stop